Hi everyone, so let's talk about the first will and testament of the Grand Tour. Now, firstly, I'd like to thank you all for your interest in this document and all the beautiful comments and the thousands of emails which we've had to try and um, handle. So I've created a structure um, and I'll give you that process where you'll be able to get that document at the end of this video. So I'd first like to answer some of your questions uh, to give you some clarity. The first thing I'd like to cover is the benefits of putting a power of attorney over your birth certificate. The police and government, a lot of people don't even really understand uh, the power that it actually gives you. The first thing it gives you is control over every document from the day you were born. So once you put this power of attorney over your birth certificate, and that's done by your mother, your father, your guardians, or whoever was the informant on your birth certificate under the legislation they are called the grantor. So the person who granted the right for you to get that birth certificate without the full knowledge of what the terms and conditions were in regards to the legislation behind the birth certificate, which says that once you go from a live birth in the hospital, then you get another birth certificate at another day time, which creates the straw man, the entity, whatever you'd like to call it, the fictional being. What happens is you become stillborn. So here you're alive the minute your parents unknowingly created the birth certificate for you, tricked by the government as a slave to work for taxes for the rest of your life, turned you into this uh, stillborn baby, dead. So, which is also an entity, which is also giving you a bond document number, which you'll notice at the top of your birth certificate. There's a birth certificate number with a year of your, the year that you were born in. So that is your bond document number. Now, we like to go one step further to start to create some clarity. Nobody has any jurisdiction over you because as a living being, you're the real person. You go by a first name. That's the name you go by. Uh, the birth certificate is an entity. So once you realize that that's not you, it's a fictional being, then you can take control over it. And then you can't be tricked by courts, police, government into making you believe that you're that. Uh, a good example of that is the police actually ask you for your driver's license and they ask you to hand it to them. The minute you hand it to them, you enter into contract with them. So what you need to really learn about is what contract law does to you as an entity. So imagine there's you and you set up a company that's creating another you. It's that simple. So once you understand this and you learn about it, you'll start to become really clear and you'll be surprised about what's happened to you throughout your life. So I want to cover um, a couple of interesting factors in relation to this. Now, if you check out the Future Fund, talking about bond document numbers, and you Google Future Fund, you'll find everybody's money in there, approximately $289 billion as of 2024 managed by the government. Why do you think that large sum of money is there? It's paying for people's Centrelinks, it's paying for all these Medicares. Yeah, there is a lot of money under your stock trading number. So... It keeps on making you ask these more questions. So when you apply for a pension with the government, when you get older, hmm, where does that money come from? So they bring you in to sign a document when you go for your pension. So then they can control that lump sum of money once again and drip feed it to you. But then when you die, you get a tombstone with your all caps name on it. Then who gets the money? You might want to think about it and start to ask these questions. And in doing so, you're going to learn a lot more about the system and how it was created to control you. Now, I want to address an area that a lot of people ask me about. What if, Grant, my parents have passed away? I'm really sorry. It's a long procedure and I don't physically have the time or resources to walk you through that. It's not an easy thing to do for anyone. 
and I really apologize but you can't use this particular document in regards to that and my apologies for that. Now I want to um, tell you about something really exciting that's coming <laughs> and it's going to change the eight ball in Australia. I've been working on this for a very long time and within the next month I'm going to notify you all it's going to solve so many of your problems you will be able to move from the public and the umbrella of control into this whole new universe that's being created. And it's not created by one person, but thousands of people who have been actively wanting this change to occur. It's just about here. So I'm going to tell you about that in an upcoming video. So I'm really excited about that. So stay tuned for that. Now, the link below, you click on it. It'll take you to where you can get your free document. So please go there, follow the instructions, and download that document. Now, I need to bring up something in regards to some of you may not be able to afford a public notary. If that is the case, go and get a JP. It's going to do a similar thing. It's just using a notary public as an expensive thing costs you around $400 to do so. And a lot of people can't afford that. So please just go and get a JP. Get that power of attorney done. Get it signed. Have an evidence copy. Keep an original. And keep an original copy in your will. And keep the other copy on you. But keep that original copy in a safe place like you're safe. Anyway, I look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great day.